Star questions answered. Astronomers answer top star related search questions. Why do stars twinkle? Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, my bad. This is a really good question. But for us to be able to answer this, we first need to know what does twinkle mean? You see, twinkle means emotion usually has to do with star or of a light that cycles between being bright to faint. Now, knowing that, it could help us a lot to explain why such happens. I'm sorry to let you down, but stars don't twinkle. The effect that we call twinkle is caused by atmosphere. When light is emitted from a star and it enters the atmosphere, it gets affected by winds and also by areas with different states, such as temperature and densities. Furthermore, if your light travels from a further distance, it will have more twinkle effect, and the closer, there will be fewer twinkle effects taking place. So in conclusion, the science behind what creates a twinkle is all the interferences affecting the wavelength of the starlight that enters the atmosphere. The more interferences, the more twinkle we will get, and vice versa. Here we can see that this graph is showing the further away the light is coming from, the stronger of a twinkle effect that will take place. Why do stars shine? Stars shine just because of the same reason that fire emits the light, it is due to them being super hot. This energy is created through a chemical reaction, which takes place deep within each star. Mostly the reactions are similar to our own sun's method of producing heat. This energy is created due to hydrogen being converted to helium. Knowing this, we can say that different stars create different amounts of energy. Classify them by using a special letter system. O, B, A, F, G, K, and finally, M. For example, the sun has a surface temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius, and this is a G2 star. A slightly hotter star would be a G1, and a slightly cooler star would be a G3 star. Now, as Kusha and I have learned in our grade 9 from our science teacher Mr. Del Bianco, the hotter the flame it is, the bluer it will appear. So the same method could be used to identify if a star is hotter than another just from its emitted light. Bright blue stars in the night sky are much hotter than the sun, and it would be classified as an A0, Betelgeuse, which is a red and cool star. It is an M2. Why do stars die? Well, you see, it's very simple. Stars die due to them draining their nuclear fuel. The effect of the event at the end of a star's life depends on its mass. The bigger the mass, the more quickly they use all their hydrogen fuel. However, some massive stars are hot enough to fuse heavier elements such as helium and carbon. Once they run out of fuel completely, the star destructs and the outer layer explodes as what we like to call a supernova. The leftover such event produces a neutron star. The collapsed core of the star, or if there is a sufficient amount of mass, it will go on and create a black hole. Which black holes are their own separate topics, so I will not go further on due to this episode being about stars only. To add more, the average size star, which should be about 1.4 times the mass of the sun, will die less dramatically. As the hydrogen is used up, they swell to become red giants, fusing helium in their cores. Or shedding their outer layer, often forming a planetary nebula, the star's core remains as a white dwarf, which cools off over billions of years.
The tiniest slash smallest stars are also known as red dwarfs. Burn their nuclear fuel so slowly that they might live up to 100 billion years old, much older than the current age of the universe. Why do stars explode? The answer to this question is very simple. Iron atoms which can be found in the stars become compacted and get crushed so closely tight that the repulsive forces of their nuclei create a recoil of the squeezed core. The power of the recoil is a force that could be called a bounce that causes the star to explode as a supernova and then gives birth to an enormous superheated shockwave. How come stars don't move? Actually, stars do move. Stars, such as the Sun, travel in their own separate orbits throughout the Milky Way galaxy. Believe it or not, they move at fantastic speeds such as 2 million miles per hour, which is insane, but I know where this type of question is coming from. These movements are not obvious from us down here on Earth. The effect that takes place has to do with the speed of light and the distance. Since stars are super far away, it takes the light emitted a long time to travel to our eyes. In other words, it takes a long time for the motion to be visible to us.